Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss something related to cloud. So before we get into it, we just discuss some history. So before coming into cloud, people started using on-prem, having their own data centers. And after having a lot of trouble in maintaining their own data center, people moved to cloud because cloud sellers came into picture and cloud sellers said, pay for what you use only, rental basis. And they take care of all the pain point of handling the servers, infrastructure and everything. And clients got interest into it and then they moved it. Now what is next to cloud? On-prem to cloud and cloud to what? I'll just pass it here. Two years back, I met my ex-colleagues and friends and I told them that people may come back to on-prem from cloud and people laughed at me. When I say back to on-prem, it's like a modern on-prem. Now let me resume the topic. What do you mean by modern on-prem? Modern on-prem means building our own cloud. Right? And you can say, like, building our own cloud is again an on-prem. You can ask this question. Yes, true. But imagine if you are using AWS cloud, and that means for you it is cloud, but you are using AWS on-prem in the name of cloud. You are using someone else's hard base, a physical hard base. AWS has their own hard base and hardware farms physically, and you are using it virtually, and so you are calling it as cloud. Right? So cloud is not exactly cloud. You are using someone else's on-prem. That's it. So now, every application that you use in your day-to-day -day life is completely on, hosted on, onboarded on cloud. So we have the need of cloud. That is true. But initially when cloud system started, the price was very less, but now it is huge because they are getting a lot of advantage. I agree. So they provide software as a service, hardware as a service, infrastructure as a service. AI as a service, big data as a service, blockchain as a service, front end as a service, mobile app as a service, I understand. But we can also build all these as a service in the name of building our own cloud. So if you are a solution architect or a software engineer or a data engineer, you can suggest this to your leadership. When a small company can do, then big companies can also do. For example, in India, one of the leading largest cab service provider app, Ola, have started their own AI-based company, Kurtrim, and they build their own cloud and they have started using it on their own app. And now many people started using Kurtrim as well. For example, Ola removed a Google map for navigation from their app and they started replacing that with their own Ola app and with that they are saving 100 crores of INR every year. And not only that, they started commercializing their cloud. They started selling their cloud services. So when such small company can do, big companies can do, right? So now what I'm going to get from this video. So as I said, if you're a data engineer or a developer or a data scientist or a front-end developer, your skill set is going to be get increased. You are going to get a lot of opportunity. Like every company have their own products team. They build data products. They build front-end products. Now they are going to build cloud products. Because already people started thinking cloud is costly irrespective to what the advantage it gives, the motto of the company is cost saving. Now people are trying to find out the new solution. It's like building their own cloud. And not only that, they can commercialize it. So you will be getting some income from the cloud back. So you're saving money, you're earning money, right? So be ready guys, you will be getting a lot of opportunity in upcoming years of building cloud systems and cloud related services. You don't want to build all the services at a time. Just build the service, whatever required for your company, your project. And one last thing I wanted to tell you is, because a particular technology is used by your company or recommended by your solution architect, may not be always correct. That's the only thing we should understand. We have to research and based on what is the need on the requirement for the company, based on that we have to keep the decision. So the agenda of video is completed. And thanks for watching. And if you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel.